up, everybody? Come, man, I'm out here. Welcoming to you to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. This one's going to be a special one because I am going to partake in a ver versus with uh, attacking two cans. Stuff in the description or in the link or whatever the hell I feel like doing. Anywho, it's a race to get the first 120 stars with Mario. So, let's race getting the first 120 stars with Mario and kick some serious ass. Um, there's really no rules. You can get stars however you want them. But, it's got to be within 30 minute interval. So, I have a nice little stopwatch here that will start as soon as I get out of the letter to Peach. So it's not starting as soon as I start the game. After the first episode, it will be as soon as I start my file. Uh, any questions, just let me know. Besides that, it's just a race and a playthrough since I knew I was going to have to do a Galaxy 1 eventually. So I figured I might as well do it right now. We are going to be... Oh hell, I might as well do myself. Except I don't have a goatee anymore. Let's just go ahead and get on into this. My strategy is basically to try to get um, to Bowser as quickly as I can. To get all the comments. That way I don't have to go from dome to dome to get stars. Sounds like a good plan to me, right? Well, we'll see how it works. Every hundred years, a comet appears in the skies above the Mushroom Kingdom. The comet was so large one year, it filled the skies and sent countless shooting stars raining down. The toads brought the shining stars to the castle, where they became a great power star. It should have been a very happy time for the citizens of the Mushroom Kingdom. That was the night of the Star Festival, held once every hundred years to celebrate the comet. Dear Mario, I'll be waiting you at the castle at the night of the Star Festival. I have something like good thing to give you from Peach. Shut up, bitch. Princess bitch. Okay, I got my handy dandy star stopwatch. I'm gonna ignore Norton because they suck. And three, two, one, let's do this. And okay, cool, my stopwatch is working. All right, I'm not gonna do much explaining of this game because this is a freaking race and I am racing. Uh, if you wanna know how to play, I have a Galaxy 2 Let's Play, which is my first Let's Play, and uh, I go over controls there. Damn it, Norton, quit being stupid. Evening to ya, evening to you, my friend. I don't want to talk to you, Norton. Go away. Uh, Cutscenes are unskippable, by the way. Just a little FYI. We're getting bombarded! Ah, everybody run! I'm trying to figure out how meteors equate to crystals. That one confuses me. See, Bowser's officially upgraded to 3D pirate ships. He doesn't have those 2D pieces of crap anymore. Hurry up, I'm on the clock! Miyamoto! What's up, Bowser? Don't go off on that ledge, you're gonna crack it. And fall flat on your ass. Princess Peach! You are formally invited to the creation of my new galaxy. I just completely changed voice, but I don't care. Whoa! <laughs> this festival is over. <laughs> UFO? Question mark. Why the fuck is there a UFO? Okay, let's get going. Don't give a shit about the toads. They all suck dick. 
Go, Ma Mario, go! Mario, go! It's been a while since I played this game. I did kind of goof off a couple days ago just to get back in the rhythm of things, but the controls are kind of funky. I've been playing a lot of 3D Land lately, so... Then again, the controls of 3D Land, I don't really care for. It's kind of difficult to make your jumps. You just got to play it, but it's not as fluent as most Mario games. And lasers. I gotta say, although that's absolutely absurd, and for one thing, if you notice the soil on the bottom, how did they get it to be a cone like this? That's ridiculous. Absolutely preposterous. But at least Bowser's kind of creative. I mean, I know he's lifted the castle out of the sky in Paper Mario, but I think it looks more badass here. By the way, if you've never played Paper Mario, shame on you. Cannot wait for Sticker Star! Bye! Oh, look at that. Mario's still on there. How do you get such a nice dome shape? That's bullshit. And where does Bowser get a UFO? That's preposterous. Mario! Shut up, shut up Princess Bitch. So long! Enjoy your flight! He is creepy, by the way. He really is. Alright, well, Mario's fucked. Game over. Yay, win! I am the wiener of this game. We're done already. That's the game. Woohoo! Playthrough done. There's a Luma. What? Aw, oh, damn it. I thought we were done. What's up, Luma dude? Alright. Wonderful. And he turns into a bunny. Fucking bunny. I hate these goddamn bunnies. And you'll see why here in a second. These bunnies are assholes. Ah! Let's play hide and seek! If you go catch all of us, we'll tell you about where you are! Why don't you just tell me? I don't want to play some fucking hide and seek. I'm playing a Mario game. This is hardcore, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go and get all three um, guys real quick, and then we'll start catching them. Um, I hate these fucking, fucking things. Get back here. God damn it. There we go. Got one of them. You caught me. Oh, I knew I should have hidden the crater. I think it's this one, hopefully. Damn it, wrong one. Well, that just fucks up my time now, doesn't it? There's one crater, so it's this one, okay. There we go, got him. So now it's just getting these fucking things. Gotcha, son of a bitch. You caught me! I should have hidden in the grass. I've already got all of them, dumbass. I think my sensor bar is really screwed up. It's kind of in a weird spot. All right, got all of them. And we still have 14 minutes. Not bad, not bad at all. I'm hoping to get... My goal is about five stars per episode. I want to try to get it into the six or seven range. But something's telling me that's a little ambitious. Cool. All right, here's Rosalina. I've been watching you from here. This place is called the Gateway to the Starry Sky. My name is Rosalina. I watch over and protect the cosmos. To save your special one, you need the power to travel through space. Hi, Luma. What up, buddy? <laughs> Luma can give you this power. I won't trust him with your care. In your care. Whatever. Shut up. 
All right, we got Luma. We can now spin. You have had the ability to spin, Shake. The Jackson is talking as this with you. With Luma, I hope you can rescue your grand stars. May the stars shine down on you. Princess bitch. <laughs> All right, let's start this shit. No, I know how to shake and spin and break stuff, okay? Did you not see my Galaxy 2 Let's Play? I am disappointed in you. Oh shit, I missed it. There we go. Okay, let's go. Let's dive head first in this garbage. Don't talk to me. You're gonna waste my time. Collect these things, get stuff, make launch stars. Yeah. And five. Where's it at? Where's that? Where's that? Cool, right next to me. I did not plan that out, believe me. Oh, I gotta change the sensor bar spot. This is strange. Okay, kill. Where's the Goomba at? Where's the real Goomba at? Where the hell are you? Oh, fuck. Do you have to kill the rest of them? Goomba! Goomba! Goomba? Goomba, where the hell are you? Goomba. I know how to play the fucking game. Where's the Goomba? Why are you going around in circles, Mario? There's the Goomba. I, I feel like he appears after you talk to him, so maybe that was my mistake. We gotta get going. We gotta get going faster, faster, fast, fast, faster. Go, 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 go. Transform. Good. Go, 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 go. I don't have time to play your bullshit games. Oh my god, it's a big ass fucking Goomba. And punt. Click. The oh wow, I missed the key. Yeah, I don't think my. Wiimote from my spot can get the very top of the screen, which is kind of annoying. Okay, there it is. I gotta use this whole gravity thing again. It's kind of strange. Ah, I hit you. Wahoo! I don't want to talk to you! I know how to turn that thing off. Shut up. Yes, yes. Okay, whatever. All right, I'll save you. Fine, shut up. Stop talking to me. I am a, a, a hero of time and space. Leave me alone. I have seen numerous galaxies before, so shut the fuck up. Don't tell me how to do my jab. I'll limit. Yay, the Luma didn't talk to me. Good. Do, 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 do. Oh no, damn it! <laughs> I was trying to get him not to talk to me, whatever. Alright, first grand star done. Cool. Do, 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 do. And we are only 11 minutes in. Which means we have another 19, which means we should be able to get quite a ways in before we end this first part off. In the meantime, I'm going to adjust my sensor bar. <laughs> that should be better. Yay! We have light. And now we have access to the terrace. Ballin'. I'm probably gonna get most of the levels and most of the stars in the terrace, but then after that, probably get, limit myself to like me like two stars in each galaxy. It shines weekly. May is rise of class six star, but now the poor losers will survive now. Oh, thank you for saving the grand star. The people in my family—they mean so much to me. Welcome to the common observatory, this is my home and also the, 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 the Lumas. 
I just say we travel the starry skies, we pass through this area once every hundred years, but we suddenly got stopped front of this planet. A strange force of lands onto the ship, pulling the away the star pits over our power source of power stars. Once the ship has lost power, we enter a deep iron age stake which could, in which we could not move. Those who picked up your special one also picked up the power stars and discovered the power to cross the power of the universe, and I don't even know. Please, I have a request. This is there to use the power star to protect him since the galaxy so it's just kind of across space. And with the chance of some future waves, stars are below the little of power stars. These round rings are called domes. We can observe galaxies in such as the but the only one that's working now is the power stars and through sword, this one, the terrace. Please go to the terrace and try to recover the power stars from the galaxies and what you will see from there. If we can do that, we will be able to preserve the constant of stars with flying starship. Then perhaps we can pursue the thieves who ran off with the power stars. Why are the power stars hidden in the galaxies again? I probably shouldn't have saved, whatever. Why would... I'd say... If the power stars are with Bowser, then why are the power stars in the galaxies? Fuck em. This dome acts as the eyes of the territory from here we can guess why the the galaxies was the limited sword to a full star and guide you into the tower world galaxies. So we point your Weevil as a full star and press A. Do your job, buddy. Now you're doomed to be my slave for the entire LP. Hooray. Yay for failing at pointing. These are the galaxies that can be observed from this dome. These numbers represent the distance of the observatory, the bigger the number, the greater the distance. The more power stars you find, the further we can be able to travel. And we up block good A galaxy. Yes, it's undeniable but we're taking power stars, energy powers in this galaxy. But I must warn you that the energy leading out is off the charts. Bullshit. Please be careful. <laughs> The, en the, the, the enemy reading is not off the charts. The en enemy reading is like the very bottom rung of the chart. Dino Piranha. All right, let's start this game. Hooray. Although we've already collected one star, and we are currently 15 minutes in, by the way. So we should hopefully get two, maybe three done. I'm hoping three. Three would be great. Because that would put me at four in the first episode, since this is very cutscene heavy. I'd be very happy with that result. And can I get it still as Mario? Guess I can't sweep. So basically my goal is to use as many speedrunning tactics as I can while making sure I don't die. As always, I'll keep track of my deaths and stuff like I do in my own LPs with my Death Reader 5000 or whatever I called it. Volume 2.0 Super Awesomeness. And the last one's over here. And of course the launch star is going to be on the other side of the great, great, great. And fly. Kill you. Fine up here, just shake your Wiimote. Um, I don't know which way is faster, but we'll go this way. This might be the longer route, but whatever. I think you, I think you skip a plant this way, but it also does take a while. I got an extra one up, sweet. Not like it's gonna matter, because every time that the game restarts, you start with five lives again, so it doesn't really matter. And perfect. Nice little secret over here. Not sure if it's worth my time, but whatever. Actually, now I think about it, I don't even think I skip a I don't even think I skip a planet. I think I go straight to the same planet. So I might just save my I wasted some time, but whatever. Bounce off the wall, Mario, for fuck's sake. We're on camera, and we're trying to beat some peoples. No, oh, Starbucks. Alright, first boss. Dino Peranta. He is beyond easy. If you're playing Galaxy 2, you got the speed run. You should be able to beat him in about 10 seconds of that. I can't remember if he's... Yeah, he's got three hits. 
Not difficult at all. Hit him again. I'm gonna turn around. Oh, the son of a bitch hit me. That's embarrassing. There we go. It's done. And now he explodes. Like every Mario boss. Boom! Don't care where you went. You just exploded. I like explosions. They go boom! And picked up one extra star bit. Just for the hell of it. Alrighty. We are 17, well, almost 18 minutes since. So we got another 12 minutes, which should be plenty of time for at least two more galaxies. Which is great, because we can finish Good Egg before the first episode is over. Which puts me at a pretty good spot. Those star bits, the Lumens there, the tastiest, most collectible treats imaginable. Aim your remote at the screen to point the star thing at, the, to, at them to pick him up. Once you have some, shoot them uh, aiming at the star pointer and pressing B. Here, you can tr you can try it on me. Why don't you try it on aiming me and feed the star bits? Well, I don't want to pick them up. Fine, I'll pick the damn things up. There we go. Now leave me alone. Yummy, tasty. Let's call those little morsels my free for this lesson. You can also shoot them enemies and feed the hungry lumas. Either way, I'm sure star bits will be a big help on your adventure. Speaking of star bits, let's go feed one of those hungry luma things. Shall we? A snack of cosmic proportions. So on this one, there's the hungry luma and we need a hundred star bits. A hundred, so I actually have to go around and collect star bits this time. Oh, which... I can't remember which side I have to go on this time. I think it's this way. No, it's not. Just kidding. It's over this way. So I am officially wasting time. Although I don't think it really matters. Cause I'm either, if I, even if I do bad in this level, it's not like I'm going to be able to get another galaxy in. And he'll give you some pool stars. Blue stars are pool stars. Green are either and yellow are either launch stars or la or sling stars. And there's another couple of colors that we'll talk about later. Just the big ones though. Just take some time, get some star bits in here. There's quite a bit of star bits around, so you don't don't feel like you have to get all of them in one spot. In fact, this is probably the worst place to get star bits, so I'm probably going to end up leaving this location. Yeah. Yeah, Chain Chomp Heaven. And Rolling Rocks of Doom. At least I thought they were Chain Chomps here. I guess they're just rocks. I missed shit. I'm bad at these things, by the way. But they give you a shit ton of star bits, though. How'd I miss you? That's bullshit. Although, I think I'm just gonna leave here, because I don't want to die already in the first episode. That would be so embarrassing. And plus, I'm pretty sure there's 18 star bits in the last place. Let's get the hell out of here. Sorry for that obnoxious noise. There's the Luma. Yay. And I'm really close to getting a hundred. There's a hundred. Perfect. Let's talk to you and feed you. So we got we're getting through this pretty quickly. Which is good because I have eight minutes left. With three star bits to spare. Perfect. If I'm not mistaken, this is the only Luma in the level that transforms into a place with a launch star. I'm pretty sure every single other Hungry Luma has a star directly associated with it. Which is kind of strange. 
Oh, I thought that Goomba was going to kill me. That would have been embarrassing. I... I've noticed this on my practice run as well. I am not doing well with getting somersaults. I don't know what it is. It's not difficult at all. But for some reason, I cannot get my somersaults in at all. It's pretty obnoxious. Alright, this is really the first gravity puzzle of the game. Might as well get some extra star bits since they're in my way. Maybe die. Oh, I might as well get those two. Alright. First gravity puzzle. I'll actually just skip this part here. As you can see, down arrows, down gravity, up arrows, up gravity. These, these will get much more commonplace and much more ridiculous as the game goes on. And this game is pretty well known for gravity puzzles, so... These are fun. Alright, let's get out of here. That's gotta hurt. And this star, you do not need the full stars, you can just long jump into it. I got six minutes left. Well, six and a half. Six and a half, six and a half minutes left. Um, I'm trying to think which of the next two levels is the longest. Got a new galaxy, that's cool. Well done, Brakes. Why are you set up a new galaxy? Star stars will range our vision and perhaps we'll eventually find an enemy, enemy base. Cool. And I just saved. Whoopsie. Oh well. I'm just wasting my own time. We might as well just finish up Good Egg. We got six minutes left. I'm trying to think which one. Oh, this is uh, the battleship fleet. King Calamente's battleship fleet. This one's a decently long one, so yeah, this will probably be the last thing we do in this episode. Go, Mario, go! Do a triple jump. Oh, damn, it missed. Oh, I got it like that. That's the shortcut I was trying to do and epic epically failed at. Get the coconuts up here. I shouldn't kill you for. I hate these fucking coconuts. These coconuts can die in a fire. Alright, now we need the coconuts up here. I hope they get. There's some up here. There's one. Cool. Oh, there's one right there. Cool. Um. Boom! Got him. Sweet. I love this music. I'm just glad we don't have to look for green stars again. Those green stars. They killed me. You dick. Did I tell you you can hit me with a bullet bill? No, I did not. We'll be to King Calamente here in a second, so we're doing really well. Ah, oh, damn it, it fell. I was trying to get both at once. Cool. That's done. Go over here. Go up to the helm. Bring the launch star. Get a random star bit. You shoot these things on the ground, they give you coins. That's what he's over there trying to tell you. Don't fall into the lava by accident. Because it's embarrassing. And here's King Calamente. He is not difficult at all. Once again, if you're playing Galaxy 2 before this, you remember him from the boss Blitz Galaxy. Same exact boss, still easy as shit. Don't worry about him. Pick up some extra. 
star bits while I'm just sitting around waiting here. Boss battles are great places to get star bits. I think he doesn't shoot. Yeah. Oh, you dick. I hate these fucking things. One, two, three. Cool. Alright, this is done. Good day is done for the time being. Until we can get um, the comments. But that will be for another time. A little more down the road. Alright, now unfortunately, there's not really too much we can do at this point in time. I was hoping one of these would would open up because those are really sl really quick levels. However, there's not really much we can do at the time being. There's not really any side quests on the on the plant that we can do. There's really nothing as far as side quests on the planet to get done. So. I've got, what, three minutes? Let's just look around, why not? If you fall off the ship, you just gravitate back. Just kinda nice and easy, just looking around, why not? Who cares? Here's the garage. Let's have more use to us later, i.e. the next level. There's all kinds of one-ups one on the, uh... There's all kinds of one-ups on the ship. So, hey buddy. How's it going? Uh, next dome's gonna be over here. There's the thingamajigga. There should be a one up down here. I don't know where it's. Oh, it's probably on the other side. So, yep. Yeah. Uh, I guess we'll just cut it short. I mean, we only have 20 seconds left on the clock, so. It's not really much I could do in 20 seconds. Well, a minute and a half ever since I started goofing off. Anyways, this is Commander Matt. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys, and um, hopefully I win. I know I'll at least beat Tyler, because he sucks. I'm hoping I'm beating everybody else, though. Although, four in the first level, not not great, but it was very cutscene heavy, so at least we got that. Next episode, we're going to have to pull up on the slack, though. All right. That's it. I'll see you guys later. This is Commander Matt signing out. Goodbye, ladies and gentlemen.